Quad is the chiefest of the Gullah Geechee Nation. The Gullah Geechee Nation lands and sea islands extend from northern Florida to North Carolina. Queen Quad is a published author, computer scientist, lecturer, mathematician, columnist, preservationist, environmental justice advocate, environmentalist, film consultant, and an artist. She is the founder of the premier advocacy organization for the continuation of the Bella Geechee culture. It's called the Bella Geechee Sea Islands Coalition. Now, I'll pass it to Queen Quet for her remarks about indig indigeneity and the cultural scientific legacy of the Bella Geechee Nation. Respond. You can respond vocally. I have no problem with it. Oh. 
And in Gully Beach and Nation, we have Baptist churches and Methodist churches and shops and churches. Where we gather in a circle. So I was so blessed to see these circular tables and not the lines of chairs. Because for us as indigenous people, it's always about the circle. Because everything that we put out in the circle eventually does what? Comes back. So if we start to look at not only this global sphere, but our cultural communities as a large circle, that with each one dot, or as a computer scientist would say, one pixel on the picture, and we realize how much clearer the picture becomes the more the pixels fill in and how colorful and beautiful and radiant it is when we have all our languages, all our music, all our traditions engaged in this field of science. Music is a science too. I'm a self-taught dancer. Believe you me, there are things I can bend and do that I know y'all would say is a science too. <laughs> there are physiologists here. There are all these people here I saw studying the DNA. Well, let's not agree to letting others colonize our story and our legacy and have anyone believe that people that are melanated were not the scientists. And that just because you speak your indigenous language, it doesn't mean that you don't have intelligence. It means that you have an additional layer of intelligence that maybe some others just don't understand. Your cultural heritage, 
and be proud to be indigenous to your land. Take a stand there, touch Mother Earth, and as you nourish her, she will nourish you. We say the water to bring me, the water to protect me back, the land that we found, the water with the bloodline. So let us heal the waters. They will flow over the land and heal it too. And they'll enter us if we stand rooted like the tree planted by the rivers of water who shall not be moved. No colonizer has been able to take away our culture in the past, and they can't now because there are too many of us serpents gathered together. And the picture is clear. Are you with me? Yeah.